Hey, it's Jamie and welcome to my channel. So today I really want to talk about the best ways that you can style the best trends for summertime. There are a lot of trends out there, but there are some that are trending more than others. And some of these things might be a little bit trendy, but some of these are actually more classic pieces as well. So I want to show you some cute looks for the summertime so it'll make it easy for you to incorporate them into your wardrobe. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. So I have heard a lot of people say that you should only incorporate one trend into an outfit. And I do believe that if you're someone that is more of a classic dresser or if you're someone that's new to trends and you really don't know how to style it. So you buy that one piece and you mix it in with your wardrobe. And I do think that it's a good idea to start with one if you're new to adding trends. But there are a lot of trends out there right now that are classic pieces that have been around for a while and that are really easy to incorporate so I wouldn't worry about mixing them in your outfits and you know if you mix all 90s trends together of course you're gonna look super trendy and if you want that look I think that's great but you can take 90s trends and mix them with other things so you just look a little bit trendy so whatever it is that you're looking for I think I'm gonna have some outfit examples in this video that you're going to like so anytime I do these videos I just really want you to take the examples and learn some things of what you could put together, maybe something you did not think about, something you like, and I really try to hit all different style preferences, not just my own. So I hope you enjoy this and we'll go ahead and jump into our first trend. So the first trend I wanna talk about is actually the hardest trend to style in this video, and it's the utility trend. So your cargo jeans, pants, and anything that you can find that has cargo pockets on it. And you can find items that are jeans that have a lot of pockets, or you can find some classic skirts and shorts and things like that that have minimal pockets. So you really have a lot that you can choose from in this trend. And that's why I say when you're choosing trends, really think about things that would work for your wardrobe. The ones that I chose are actually a pink cargo jean. They have minimal pockets because I wanted minimal pockets. I don't like all the heavy pockets and I wanted them to last me a little bit longer than a season or two, which I think this trend might be around for a little while, but we will see. So I chose this one and it's got just more of a kind of a straight leg. It's not really a wide leg, but it's a little bit looser than your average straight in its full length. And I loved this because it was pink and it actually fit really well into my wardrobe. And the first outfit I wanna show you is the cute cargo jeans with a graphic tee and my golden goose sneakers, because this is something that I would wear all the time. And I did front tuck the t-shirt because it looked a lot better than wearing it out. And I really didn't like tucking it in because it gave it a little bit too much of a structured feel where this is more of a relaxed outfit. So one thing that really surprised me with my cargo jeans is that I was actually able to dress them up a bit. So I put on this white cute little swing top that I have and I love this top because it's something that I can wear that I don't have to worry about tucking in. It actually does not look good front tucked or tucked in. So I just left it out and then to make this outfit a better look better proportioned on my body, I did put on my espadrilles because I wanted to be able to have a pair that I could wear with my sneakers, but I could also wear with my espadrilles. And I absolutely loved this outfit and thought it came together really well. So sometimes you just have to try some things with trends that you bring in. Just buy it if you like it, bring it home and put it with some things in your closet and see if it works because this really surprised me that it actually worked. And as I was putting my outfits together, I really wanted to create a look that I thought someone that was apple shape would wear. I get a lot of comments on my channel that they can't front tug, they can't wear shorter things. And I mean, I really want to give you guys ideas for all different body shapes. And this outfit I thought would be great for someone that is apple shape because I feel like this pant would look good. It would give a little bit more substance to your bottom half because a lot of apple shapes have really skinny legs. So I felt like the style of this would be good. So what I chose to do was just a V-neck white tank top that's kind of loose and comes down and covers the stomach area. I did not front tuck it or anything and I added on some pretty neck Necklaces. So opening up that neckline actually is great for an apple shape because it draws your eye up and then the pants draw your eye down 
And you can put a layer over the tank top, which I decided to put the denim shirt jacket, which you could find something that's chambray. You could do something sleeveless that's a little bit longer or even a very lightweight cardigan that just lays really nicely and gives you that layer. But definitely keep on a heel, especially if you are 5'4 and below, so you can get the extra height and it gives you better proportions. And if you have a top like the white swing top that works for you that's a little bit longer, then that's going to look wonderful on you as well. I have one more piece that I wanna show you within this cargo trend because I thought this piece looked very classic. And they did such a good job on this skirt because it's a darker color and it has the pockets on it, but they just don't stick out. And it's an A-line skirt, so it's going to fit a lot of different body shapes. And I just thought it was really pretty. I did start off with a white cap sleeve rib t-shirt and some sneakers because I really wanted to make this outfit really casual because I feel like a skirt like this, again, could be worn very casually or it could be dressed up. So I put on the pink bag with this because I really wanted just to add a pop of color. Sometimes when I have an outfit on that just feels a little boring, I wanna add a pop of color and a lot of times I'll either do that in my accessories or my bag. The next outfit I wanted to show you is actually a no-no because I took my denim jacket and layered it with the skirt. This is where you wanna be careful when you have cargo pockets because I feel like the pockets on the front of the denim jacket and the pockets on the front of the skirt just actually amplified both, all four pockets. So this was a no-no. So if you wanna layer something with a skirt like this, I would go for just a plain cardigan. So I chose my pink cropped shorter cardigan and I thought this was a good layer. So I am including layers in this video because me personally I always want to carry something with me because I get really cold inside. When it's 100 degrees outside everybody has their air conditioning going and that change in temperature I get cold so usually I carry a layer with me. So that's why you're seeing some of these and some of you might live in a very mild climate and these would be great just everyday outfits for you through the summer. So now for the outfit that's a little bit more dressed up with the skirt. So I just added this cotton poplin kind of rusty red color top that I absolutely love. And it looks really good left out because it has some side slits to it, but I didn't like it left out with this skirt. So I did fully tuck it in. And then I just put on my clear heels to create an outfit that I could wear maybe to a summer party or out to dinner. So if you wanna get into the cargo trend, but you don't wanna do jeans or pants or shorts or anything like that, I think a skirt would be a great option and it would last a little bit longer in your wardrobe than some of the other trendier cargo items that we're seeing available. So one of my favorite trends at the moment is a cropped jacket and specifically a denim crop jacket. And it took me a while to find this one and to find one that was actually cropped. I had ordered one from Old Navy that was just terrible and it wasn't really cropped. And cropped in my mind is something that comes to your waistline, not right above your hip line. And this one is actually really cropped and it's super cute and it was not expensive. I will link I'll link everything in the description for you guys if you're interested in anything. And I don't know if this is still available or not, but it's really good. And I did put it with a lot of different things in my closet and it actually did not work with something and I will show you that as well. But before I show you the outfits, I just wanna say if you cannot wear a cropped denim jacket, another trend to consider that's really big right now is a denim blazer. And I think a denim blazer actually works for a lot more body shapes, so you could definitely try that. And if I can get my hands on one, I'll do a styling video for you. So let's jump into the outfits with the cropped denim jacket. So the first outfit I wanted to show you is actually with a maxi skirt and a white t-shirt and some sneakers. And this is something that you may not think to put together, but I really think that a denim jacket is great for the summer because we kind of get away from a lot of denim on the bottom. We put on more shorts that are linen or chinos and things like that. So we're wearing other materials other than denim or we're wearing white and lighter denim. And it's really hard to pair denim together. So I'm going to show you a lot of options here with other pieces you might have in your wardrobe that are really good for summer. And the first one is this maxi skirt. This next outfit is from my white jeans video and I will link that if you have not seen it. If you want some styling ideas, there are lots of options in that video. 
but this is just a dark floral top that is a little bit cropped so it's considered a crop top but it's not as cropped as the jacket and you can see there's about an inch or so that hangs out of the crop jacket and I think this looks really good if you were to get any longer and the top were to come down over the hips I, I think it would be too much and it would get overwhelming and you would have just too many cutoff points for the outfit so this I thought was appropriate. So when you are layering your crop jacket over something, consider that. It really looks better if something is fully tucked in and it kind of matches the, you know, the band of the jacket because then you don't have too many cutoff points. But in this instance, I felt like it still looked pretty good. So the next outfit is a really good example of that tucked in look that is pretty seamless and you don't get too many divisions within the body. And I did pair the tank top and jacket with some tailored shorts that I thought I would do this because you might not think you could create an outfit like this with some tailored shorts because these are shorts that you might want to put with a blazer or a blouse and dress them up but I actually like them better when I have mixed them with some of my casual things and I did just keep the sandals a nude color so I didn't add any more color to this outfit and I thought it came together as a really fun summertime outfit. So now for the outfit that did not work that I thought was absolutely going to work and it made me sad that it didn't so I put the jacket over one of my favorite button-up shirt dresses and this dress just had too much of that baby doll effect it had too many layers and too much going on and too much fullness that the jacket just kind of made it look worse I like the dress by itself leaving it alone and putting it on with sneakers so I think the jacket just accentuated all the things about this dress that are probably just not good being how full it is so if you are putting your denim jacket that's cropped or even a cropped jacket of some kind over a dress you want to make sure the dress fits your body a little bit even if the skirt is a line i i really think that it needs to be a little bit more fitted on your body like this t-shirt dress that i have so i really love the fact that the t-shirt dress is striped as well because you can see that the jacket kind of breaks up that pattern a little bit and makes the dress look a little bit better probably than if I were to wear it by itself. And I almost forgot to mention the outfit I have on. One of my favorite ways to wear this denim jacket is just with an outfit that is something I might just throw on during the summer because I'm so hot and want to be cute. So it's just a plain t-shirt and then some printed shorts and the printed shorts are everywhere this season. So you can find a pair that looks really good and there's a lot of printed wide leg pants that are fun too or if you don't want to print just find a bold color and if you just have a plain t-shirt on I think the denim jacket just helps create a more put together look so people have been talking about maxi skirts taking over midi skirts and I think we're finally there this season I've seen a lot of maxi skirts a lot of really fun ones and when I was at Nordstrom which I don't know if you've seen my Nordstrom haul you should definitely check it out I had such a fun time with my stylist Delaney in Nashville and if you want to get all the juicy details check that video out but she picked out this made well maxi skirt for me that's in a gingham print and I absolutely love Love gingham I think it's fun for spring and summer and I think that print is something that never goes out of style I can't pair a lot of colors with it but I do a lot of whites in the spring and summer so I thought it was perfect for those airy fun outfits so I have you know paired t-shirts with it that were good I've got the t-shirt on right now that I have put with it and just easy to tuck in and then put the denim jacket over it which I have done here so to my surprise I can also style my espadrilles with it and I think it looks amazing so if you can find a maxi skirt that is the perfect length and not too long or too short like right this sits right above my foot then all shoe heel heights will work. So my favorite are sneakers and flats, but I really loved my espadrilles with this and you can just dress it up a little bit. So put a nicer top with it. I tried my white little swingy top with it and my espadrilles and I thought this was a great outfit if I needed something to go out to dinner or even you know a nicer party that I was going to or a shower or something in the summertime. I might even consider putting on a metallic shoe and wearing this to a wedding. I have also enjoyed pairing black with this skirt but just know if you have a print 
it like this in neutral and you do a brighter or a darker color with it, it's going to cause it to stand out a little bit more. And I didn't mind that. I really loved the cropped t-shirt that I put on with this. And then I just kept the shoes a neutral color because I know a lot of people like that. And this would keep you from bringing that color back in at the bottom and you don't, it doesn't really draw attention to the feet. So maxi skirts are really big. I don't think they're going anywhere. And I think if you wanted to find a cute print, gingham would be good or stripes or just a solid color and just find one that's light and airy. This one is a linen blend, so it worked really well for the spring and summertime. And I just, I feel pretty in it. So I'm thankful that she pulled it for me and encouraged me to get it. So, cause when I put it on, it feels really good. And I think that is the most important thing. So the next trend that I think is really good for spring and summer is a crisp button up shirt. And there are so many options out there. And even though this is a fall and winter trend, it's also a spring and summer trend. And I love the fact that most button up shirts are materials that can go year round that are really breathable like cotton and linen. So the first one I have is a little bit more of a classic style. So you can choose classic oversized. You can pretty much choose whatever works for you because I think they're all pretty much on trend. So this one I got from Cezanne and I have loved it for fall and winter and for transitional season. And I love it for spring and summer. It's so comfortable. It's a linen blend. So it works with a lot of things. And I love pairing it with my cutoff denim shorts because I feel like it dresses them up a bit. And I do tie it at the waist because I love that look for the spring and summer. And if you want to know how to tie a button up shirt properly, I have a great video for you and I will link that in the description and in the banner. But I just put on my gladiator sandals to stick with a casual feel, but you could do a sneaker or an espadrille or something with this and it would look good. But I also love a little bit trendier button up shirt. So I got this lavender and white striped shirt from Banana Republic and I put this in a lot of videos because I think it's so useful, so versatile. And I absolutely loved it with a pair of white structured shorts. I feel like the swingy style and the way this is done, it just looks really cute this way. And I've also styled it with white jeans. So either way, this looks really good. And it is, this one is more crisp and clean looking and very summery. And I have tried this one open and it didn't really work. So I always wear this just buttoned up with some pretty jewelry. And so my personal preference was to be a little bit different and put some white sneakers with this, but you could absolutely do a little bit of a dressier sandal if you wanted a shorts outfit that was a little bit more dressed up. So I always love your feedback. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment of what your favorite trend is for summer. And thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe. Love your neighbor, be kind, and I'll talk to you next time.